I have an interesting theory about where the enhanced zoom is for the Pixel 8 Pro, and the key to it might be Samsung. Hear me out on this. So Samsung has been announcing a lot of these features that we were supposed to be getting. Well, maybe not a lot of them, but if you remember Circle to Search, and everybody knows Circle to Search is a Google feature. However, Samsung is the one that actually announced the feature, talking about it being available for S24 phones whenever it came out when the phone launched. And conveniently, at the same time the keynote was happening, Google decided to tweet that it would be available on Pixel 8 series phones on the same day, January 31st. Well, that was kind of interesting because Samsung, of course, was treating it like it's their own feature. And then you have Google who actually created the feature and is licensing it to them, coming back behind them in a tweet going, no, 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 well, we're, we're going to get it. So I have no doubt in my mind that Google had to wait for Samsung to announce that feature for their phones before Google could say it was available for their phone. Now, something else peculiar just happened the other day. So we know that we had the update for One UI 6.1 to retroactively give a lot of these smart features to the S23 series phones, the Z Flip 5 and the Z Fold 5 and the Tab S9 series tablets. Well, that happened a few days ago. And conveniently, the same day, we get an announcement from Google about we're going to have the retroactive circle to search going to other phones like the Pixel Fold, which has sorely been missed out on, and a couple other ones announced on the same day. So it's interesting to me that one, we have with Circle to Search, we have Samsung announcing it and then Google saying, oh, by the way, it's going to be on our phones. But then a few months later, we have Samsung saying, oh, hey, starting today, it's rolling out to our older phones. And then conveniently, you have Google doing the same thing, saying it's going to be available on our older phones soon. So I'm like, this is really interesting. Why is Samsung taking the lead and making these announcements and being in the front of the line with Google's own software features, right? So I've been thinking about the enhanced zoom and a lot of people have, I get questions about it. Everybody brings it up from time to time because it's kind of like a water cooler joke at this point in time because we got enhanced zoom, they announced it with the Pixel 8 and the 8 Pro and then, well, we haven't heard anything from it. Other, it was supposed to be coming later and we're kind of a long ways into later by now, right? Came out in October. November, December, January, February, March, it is April 1st, April 1st. We're in the sixth month of this phone's life cycle and we still don't have the enhanced zoom. So where in the heck is it? Well, normally a lot of these features would pop up in what? They would show up in the developer beta so that way they would be available whenever the next quarterly feature drop happens. Quarterly feature drop time is usually when we get new features. Well, we've gone through the December quarterly feature drop. We've gone through the March quarterly feature drop. The next one is June, and we've got some exciting things in there, like being able to do display out support. But still, there's no sign of enhanced zoom. So where in the heck is it? And I'm beginning to wonder if maybe Samsung might be announcing it first with its own name. Because, well, we've already had it happen with Circle to Search. We've had it happen with the retroactive capabilities for the older phones when it comes to Samsung announcing it first and pushing it out. So I wonder if there's some sort of like backdoor agreement between Google and Samsung where Google's letting them announce their own features and making it pretend like it's theirs, but really it's it's Google's. And I don't know. I mean, I, I'm not a big conspiracy theorist, um, but sometimes whenever you start seeing things like this, it really makes you ask questions. I'm like, okay, we don't know where it's at. It hasn't showed up yet. As of right now, it's not in the beta, so it looks like we're not going to get it for the quarterly feature drop unless just something materializes out of thin air between now and June. So if we don't get it in June with the quarterly feature drop, that will be the last feature drop. The next feature drop will basically be Android 15. So are we going to have to wait until Android 15 gets here <laughs> uh, with the Pixel 9 before we get this enhanced zoom that was promised for the Pixel 8 Pro? There's been a lot of things that have really, really been questionable when it comes to decision-making and business practices when it comes to the Pixel 8 Pro. Most recently, we had the whole Gemini Nano thing, and they said, well, I'm sorry. I, I've gotten into this argument with so many people. People are like, oh, Google didn't say it. A Google engineer working on the generative AI features on the Pixel phones said that the Pixel 8 couldn't, had a hardware limitation and couldn't run the Gemini Nano AI. So then you've got people saying, oh, well, Google didn't officially say it. 
Okay, Google didn't officially say it. Google's not going to officially say it. You know what Google officially says? Absolutely nothing. But when you have a Google engineer who's working on the generative AI, which is part of what Gemini Nano AI is, and he says, yeah, it's not coming to the Pixel 8 due to a hardware limitation, that's pretty much what all you need to hear, as far as I'm concerned. Well, then apparently that magically get walked back, and now the Pixel 8 is going to get it. <laughs> so... Uh, yeah, and there's some confusion about how that's actually going to be applied, but it looks like you might have to turn on a developer option. My guess is it's not that it could never run it. It's just that maybe because of the lack of the RAM that it needed to be able to properly run these this AI model and get the appropriate answers <laughs> or to do it more quickly and efficiently, it needs the extra RAM. So probably what happens is it runs slower. It just doesn't give the level of quality experience that I think Google would want for it to be a mainstream feature. Okay, that makes sense if they said that, but they didn't. So that leads me back to Enhanced Zoom. Maybe Samsung's going to get it first, or maybe we'll see another one of these things where Samsung goes, bam, here's this new feature we got, and then Google has a tweet. And not, not Google making a press announcement, not Google having a, a thing talking about it, but also, we've got Google I.O. coming up in just a month. It's going to be, I believe, it should be in May of 2024, just a month from now that we're in April. Maybe they have an announcement there. But if we do get an announcement on Hand Zoom, or we do have some discussion about it, it would be really, really interesting to see what happens with that. Because by the time we get into the middle of May, we're talking about seven and a half months into the life cycle of this phone. Why are we having phones talked about on launch? Like, how are we having these products, features talked about? And then they take six, seven, eight months to actually show up. Like, that's bogus. Are you just stringing people along so you can try and find a way to justify more sales later on? Which, I got to tell you, Enhanced Zoom is probably only going to sell about three different mo like three different phones. Like, I don't believe these features are as big of a selling point as they believe they are. I get so many people in the comments section who are like, I don't care about these AI features. These AI features are stupid. Can I turn them off? Et cetera, et cetera. There's not a lot of people who are just clamoring about them, talking about how amazing, exciting, and awesome they are, and that they want them. So I don't know if it's the biggest selling point uh, that Google has going for them, but it is curious the way that this relationship is working out, where all these AI features are showing up on Samsung. Samsung's giving them their own name, and Samsung's the one that's leading from the front, announcing them. And then you've got Google running behind saying, hey, guys, we're going to get it too, when they created it. So... I'm curious to see what happens here, but I don't think that I will necessarily be wrong here. I think that there is a substantial chance that we have some sort of tandem launch with a similar feature whenever it comes to Samsung at some point in time, and then Google announcing at the same time, ta-da, available today, we have, we have enhanced Zoom for the Pixel 8 Pro. So we'll see what happens as we move forward with this. Things are going to get really interesting in the next couple of months because, one, we have Google I.O. in May. And then in July, we have, I think, the Olympics, and supposedly the, the Z Fold 6 and the Z Flip 6 will be launching in July, or at least they'll have the announcement for them because they're an official partner with the Olympics, which is happening in Paris, and I believe the launch is supposed to happen in Paris as well. I'm sure I won't be invited to that. But anyway, <laughs> we'll see what happens as we move forward. But I was sitting around thinking about it, and somebody talked to me about it the other day, like, where is this enhanced zoom at? I'm like, well, that's a good question. And then I was sitting there scratching my head after this more recent development with Samsung being the first one to retroactively give these AI features to their phones. And we have Google running behind them again. So I wouldn't be surprised. I really wouldn't be surprised if Samsung at some point in time makes another announcement with this new feature. And then we have Google saying, hey, guys, it's on our phone, too. So crazier things have happened. But either way, enhanced Zoom. Where is it, Google? We are waiting. So that's all I've got. If you have any questions or comments, of course, please go to the comment section. I'll do my best to get back with you. If you enjoyed the video, if you found this insightful, if you think I'm just crazy enough to be entertaining and you like this stuff, hit the like and the subscribe button and the little notification bell if you want updates when new videos come out. And as always, thanks for being here. I appreciate you watching. I'll see you guys next time.